hi folks welcome to this episode of michael's backyard marina i think this is going to be like uh what is it part 10 maybe for this uh hundred dollar boat adventure working on the trailer uh, i've got lights now that i want to install i've got two new tires that i want to put on wheels and tires i want to put on they're 15 inches and i want to get the rest of this uh trailer wrapped up today uh, like I said, with lighting, I'm going to show you some of the things I'm going to do to hook the lighting up. Uh, the marker lights. I've already got the tail lights on. You witnessed that one, I believe, if you've been following this. Now we're going to put the marker lights on and the triple light across the back. We're going to get that installed as well and get it wired up. So let's get after this thing. I'm going to show you a couple things I'm going to do along the way to make things a little easier. I apologize if it's a little windy out here today. You can see how much is blowing behind me here right now. Uh, I'm actually working on the... Uh, east side of my building the wind's coming hard out of the west so i'm working on the east side of the building today to try to block some of the wind so when i'm soldering and and doing some heat gun i don't have a lot of extra wind trying to mess me up so let's get after it i'll show you what i'm gonna do first one of the first things i'm gonna do to get started on this project is i need to take this wheel off let's get after it The reason I wanted to remove the trailer tire is because it allows me access to the back part of this fender here or inside the fender here where there's a nice little groove and you wonder what that little groove is for well this is where you can run wiring and it lays right down in whoops it'll press right in there and hides away real nice and neat and I know it's not acting like it will now but it it does go in there. It will stay in there once you push it in past center just a little bit. What I've got some 14 gauge electrical wire. That's what I'm going to work hook up all my LED lights with. And I got just a roll of green here that I need to run here across this uh, entire inside of this fender. And it's going to go up from here to the back of the light and same to the other side. Same for the other side. So that's why I've got this wheel off. I'm going to get this wiring in here. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to hook the lights up. And get my marker lights going on the front and the back side of the uh, fender. Now because the hole in the fender here I want to use is a little bit small. And it causes a bind on these two wires here. I'm going to open it up a little bit. And I've got my handy dandy. These actually work kind of slick. For sheet metal and whatnot is a step drill we're going to open it up just a little bit now that it's opened up these wires fit in there comfortable comfortably with a little bit of wiggle room so now i won't put any extra uh pressure on the wires that might cause them to cut and fail one quick note uh, when you buy led lights always check to see which is positive and negative they are the circuitry in here is what controls it and in this case normally black on automotive stuff is a ground but in this case it's the it's the positive and the white's the negative so you want to make sure when you buy your lights and you check them out uh it's not a bad thing but just check them out to make sure you when you're wiring it up you're wired up properly otherwise you can cause yourself a lot of headache thinking white's positive and black's negative nope it's the opposite on these lights i checked it on the orange ones and the red ones and that's the case on both of them okay as you can see here, the wiring runs right down, runs in this channel all the way down the other side. I've got it spliced in here to go to the center of the trailer for the triple light and also to make the connection to the rear tail lights. And I've got it up here with the ground hooked up there. Now I'm ready to splice in the actual tail light wire to this wire to make them work. All right, good news. All the wiring's done. Those lights came on. The back LEDs on, middle ones, the other fender LED, all working like it should. Now I'll get that last tire put back on, and we are done. All right, guys, I know it's really dark out here, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea what those LEDs look like at night. It makes the trailer very visible from the back end. You can see everything clear as, clear as day. But it worked out really nice, looks really good. A little too fancy for this old cowboy, but uh, that's pretty slick. I like it. 
It's going to work for me. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Michael's Backyard Marina. Uh, this is the final chapter, I'm calling it, for this uh, boat trailer. I am now in search of a boat to rescue. Uh, I'm looking for a boat that I can pick up that somebody wants to get rid of out of the yard, pay me to haul it away. It doesn't have to have a trailer. It doesn't have to have tires. It doesn't have to have uh, wheels. It doesn't have to have anything. It can be just be laying on the ground. I can go pick it up and dispose of it for them and provide them a service. So now all it is is wait till I find somebody that needs a boat hauled off and I'm ready for it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Get out there and do something fun today. Uh, I enjoyed myself today. Wiring is a very tedious uh, process. It takes a little while. It took me a couple hours to finish wiring this thing up because there again, I want to do it right. I solder every connection. I heat shrink tube every connection. I've got all the wires very well secured up in here. Uh, turned out really nice. I'm pretty happy with it. It should last me a long, long time. So get out there and do something fun. Michael out.